Hey guys, Dirt here, and today I'm back on the Tunnel 9 to try to push this account back up to Legend League. Right now I'm at 3,000 trophies instead of Masters 1, and the goal for today is to make it up to 3,200 trophies instead of Champions 3. And to get to that goal, we're going to be using the recently added Frozen Arrow to the Queen, but also using the Queen Charge Master Dragon attack strategy with the Apprentice Warden inside the Clan Castle, which you can only get from donating to yourself with raid medals. Here is the equipment I'll be using for the King, which is the Rage Vial and the Giant Gauntlet, and I'll be using the Cloak ability for the Queen alongside the Frozen Arrow, and I'll be attacking Tunnel 10s and Tunnel 11s today as I try to make it up to Champion 3. And starting off with the first attack of the day, which is this Tunnel 10 worth 46 trophies, and you want to start off this attack strategy with the Queen Charge, and probably around the Queen, the enemy Queen, so we'll jump her over here at the right side of the bait on this Collector, and then drop in the Clan Castle to allow for that balloon to come out so we can drop the uh, uh, healers, and then Baby Dragon on the both sides of the Queen to path her into to the base here. We're going to drop a couple of wall breakers because the wall breakers from the clan castle did fail, so we'll open that compartment there. And she should allow for her to get into this compartment to head towards the enemy queen. We'll drop a raid spell for her to get her back up to full and getting through with that uh, enemy hero there. So we'll drop another couple of wall breakers. We only need one if it is inside of a raid spell to open up a tunnel 10 level wall. So we'll get her into the next compartment here, and she is locked on to the uh, by the Infernal Tower. But you can wait a few seconds before dropping the freeze. And that Frozen Arrow would have actually f uh, slowed down the Infernal Tower, so we would have been fine without that freeze, I think. But we dropped it just in case that she was going to go down to that there. Slowly dropping some more rages as she gets through and gets targeted by two different expos. The king at the bottom of the base as well to clear out some buildings and some baby dragons around the outside of the base if they are out of range of the air defenses, which are pretty uh, in the middle of the base here. So we'll drop a poison towards the top of the base where we have a couple of uh, balloons and dragons from the enemy clan castles. Which will drop a rage and poison through that to easily take out the enemy clan castle and work over towards that town hall for that second star we're mainly going for two stars but tunnel 10 you can sometimes three star so we're at least going for that second star from the town hall which we're getting pretty close to getting we have one more rage and a bunch of balloons which i think i will drop towards the bottom of the base i put a couple baby dragons over here at the left side to clear out some of the outside buildings and they'll drop some balloons over here at the right side to head towards that expo at the bottom of the base and then head over towards the inferno to take it down we want to keep the queen's ability for the end of the raid. If we can get to that three star, we're up to 75% drop in the rage and a baby dragon to distract the air defense. And we drop some more baby dragons around the outside of the base to take down the last few air targeting defenses. The apprentice warden actually switched over to the balloons to help take out the few buildings towards the bottom of the base. We take down the inferno tower in that compartment, dropping the minions and the archers over here at the left side of the base. And we'll drop the queen's ability to go through these uh, buildings here as I check around the base for that any outside builder huts basically. So we have 30 seconds left in the raid to take out the last couple of storages on this tunnel 10. Looks like we are getting this three star as a tunnel 10 or tunnel 9 attacking a tunnel 10 for plus 46 trophies to start off the day. On to another attack against a tunnel 10 worth 46 trophies this time. We're gonna go from the bottom because you want to attack with your queen charge to go from the area where the closest side to the town hall is. So we'll go from the bottom here with the same thing as before, dropping the queen and the clan castle and then the healers and then a couple of baby dragons went on both sides of the queen. We did actually wall break in with the clan castle wall breakers. So we'll see if the, she does head into the compartment here and she does very good. So we'll get ready with a rage spell to go through the two heroes towards the bottom of the base here. She should have a pretty pretty easy time getting through both of those there. We'll drop the king over here at the left side of the base with a baby dragon on this barrack to pack the king into this compartment here where we'll wall break in, drop in a couple of wall breakers to open that compartment to allow for the king and stuff to work into that compartment and take down that side of the base. We're getting closer to that town hall as we attack it right now for that first star. We have both of the inferno towers on multi, so we should have a pretty easy time taking them down with the queen because she will be able to reach both of those there. So we'll wait, wait till she gets over to that side before dropping another rage spell probably. But we have the king take down the entire left side of that base, which is pretty good. So we'll drop some baby dragons around the outside here to take out the outside buildings, dropping that rage through 
these multi infernos as we have some Tesla's popping up as well so we can take out the complete bottom side of the base now the king does die so we'll drop some balloons over here at the left side of the base to take down the expos in the middle because it will take a long time for the queen to get over as we drop some wall breakers to get her into the next compartment with a rage as well as well as dropping a rage for the balloons and freezing the uh, expo and the teslas in the middle trying to take down that final uh, expo in the middle of the base as the queen will take down the one on the right as she makes it into the right compartment and luckily we don't take out the expo so hopefully we can take out that later on with the queen as we basically dropped every single baby dragon towards the top to take out the top compartment here but unluckily we can't get that down so we have 30 seconds left in the raid with the queen's ability to drop the minions to help that one baby dragon take down that archer, archer tower which we do very good dropping the queen's ability to go through the wall and we have the two archers which you can't really drop anywhere, but I think we'll drop towards the right side to help the queen take down that wizard tower more quickly. Taking down that uh, expo with the one hit remaining and 10 seconds left to take down two more storages for the three star on this tunnel 10. And we do get a down in time for that three star for the plus 42 trophies for that second attack of the day. And here we go, we got our Town Hall 11 worth 40 trophies. Obviously going from the bottom of the base to take out the Town Hall as quickly as we can. So we'll start off with the Queen and then drop in the Clan Castle as always. And we'll open the compartment there and drop in the healers once that balloon comes out. Drop your Baby Dragon on both sides. Can't really drop it on the right. Uh, but I think she will, never mind, she's gonna go walk around the base. So we'll drop a couple, oh, I guess she'll go back in after that. Kind of weird pathing for the queen, but she will head into the base here. We'll get ready with a uh, rage spell for the queen and head into the enemy queen and take her down there. And we'll soon drop a wall break here. I should drop it right about now to go through here. I think those two will be able to take down that wall and they do very good so that wall is now open but we have a single inferno which is pretty close to the queen here so we'll drop a freeze on that probably should have dropped it on the air defense uh, so we'll drop a few balloons here uh, to uh, distract the air defense dropping the queen's ability tons of damage onto the queen here as we get to about 25%. All we need to do now is drop a bunch of baby dragons to get the, uh, th the second star for the 50% here. So we'll get ready. I think we need to uh, path the queen into a different direction. So I'll drop a baby dragon over here. I think she will head into a different direction after that archer tower goes down. So we'll take that down here. And there we go. She'll go around the outside. But doing that, she will actually die. So I guess from now we're going to drop a bunch of baby dragons around the outside of the base to get to that 50% for that second star. We'll drop the baby dragons down here with a couple of rages. If we get that 50%, we don't need to do any more attacking as once you hit 50%, you will get the same amount as if you get to a 99% two star. So we'll get that there, 60% two star on this 10 all 11 for 27 trophies. As we head back to the base here, we'll get that star bonus for more ores to upgrade as we get to 3,214 trophies instead of Champions 3. Check out the video linked on screen now if you want to see the Apprentice Warden being used a bit more on my Talon 9.